Die, warriors! We shall take that city and sack it and burn it to the ground! And tonight, friends, we shall feast in Odo's palace or in Odin's hall with the choosers of the slain. Now is the time of honor, the hour of our glory! the king of glory the lord is strong and mighty in battle he trains my hands for war so that my arms may hold this cross of gold i shall not yield brave sif bring a gift of victory Odin, lend me your helm of art be the fiends of Vanir, Oasir, crush these walls. I am the gate of Paris! Fate favors the brave. Now what, Siegfried? Rush the palace gates! We'll bring the whole place crashing down on Odo's skull! To the palace! Fire and vengeance! Faster! Fa Follow me, Pontius! To hail our victory! Yes! 
Where are those Frankish dogs? The silence gnaws my guts. Shields up and close ranks! down. Damn the gods! I walked right into Odo's trap like a healing elk. Do not lose heart, Siegfried. Battle is a fickle goddess. Uncle, it is worse. The scouts report that warrior priest, uh... Gosler. Yes, he rallies a large force of Franks in the east, in that church. Damn the gods. They will crush us out in the open. What do we do? Our catapults could hit that church, but they have no way to aim. We should light signal fires on the towers. That will give the catapults something to target. Yes, do it. Before rejoining you. Good. And I will take down this warrior priest Goslan before he rallies the Franks.
gates are down! Charge! Barbarian! The guards here are vigilant. Remember you, the silent jester from the tavern. You have earned my eternal gratitude. I assume you seek the war priest Goslin. Please take the church key. It's brought me only trouble. Thanks. It seems you found your tongue after all. Join your nailed guard in death, as you served him in life. Mama, I'm scared. Clear the hall! Hush, child. Shh, hush. Come, Eivor. The fighting still rages through the streets. We need your strength.
Let this end, Joker. Killing everyone. It is as I feared. The bloodlust is upon him. He will <gasps> slaughter the whole city. If I can reach Count Otto, I can make him surrender to stop this madness. Siegfried's warriors have surrounded the gates to Odo's palace. With Goslan dead, the streets are ours. We are moving the catapults to batter the palace gates down. There must be another way, over, under, or around those walls. Nolwen once spoke of a tunnel in the southwest. One way or another, I will get in. are the largest gates I've ever seen. We will never batter them Sigfred down. Sigfred is moving his catapults up. It will take time, but... This will take me right over the palace walls. Perfect. Now to sneak inside Odo's palace.
toes, brother. Hey, hey. what? into the palais for a twist? How can you think of an animal lusts today of all days? We may die today. Should I spend my last moments scrubbing floors or making love? May God have mercy on your soul, Abuda. Sneaking through the back door like that. Who are you and what are you doing? Following that love-struck maid should lead me into the palace. Mon cher is coming and, and he'll lock you up. with him after reading that note. Inside the palace, I need to find someone to point me toward Odo. Pardon me, good sirs. Where may I find the Count Odo? Count Odo? Who cares about Count Odo? Where is our good friend Walter de Sens? Oh, why? Who is Walter de Sens? A great warrior? Walter? A warrior? No. 
Here's Count Odo's family priest. He's begging Odo to give us more wine. Uh, we plan to be passed out drunk by the time the Northmen bust into here. Odo's priest might lead me to Odo. But I need to sneak past these guards to the servants' wings. Oh, my lady, why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. The mother of his children, to think it's so stubborn at all, and that pathetic Walter du Sens, too drunk to give last rites, a travesty. Pardon me, is that food for Count Odo? No, this is for Lady Theodorat, his wife. She lies at death's door. And who are you in such garb? A healer from Frisia. What happened to the lady? While helping wounded soldiers off the walls, she took an arrow in the belly. Persuade that worthless priest, Walter, to give her the last rites if you can. He's just upstairs. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Oh, my lady. Why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. The mother of his children. You think it's so stubborn at all. Pathetic Walter du Sens. His wife is inside. She might know where he is.
special wine. Maybe for a high feast. It'll come in handy. Pardon me, father. Where is Count Odo? Oh, Odo! His foolish pride will kill us all! Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? No, I can tell you nothing without more wine. Ah, my memory has gone all hazy. Here's your wine. Now do you remember where is Count Odo? Wine? Ah, sweet, precious wine. The water of life, the blood of Christ, the fiery flame of the world. Red wine, nothing more. You may have it. Oh, heaven hears my prayer. Now I can die. Uh, before you do, where is Count Odo? Although I do not know. But his wife lies wounded in their master bedroom. She may have answers. On the second story, along the main hall. Here, take the key. I lock the door. Thanks. I should have had to hold those bedrooms. has grown dim. I see nothing but shapes. Father, will you hear my confession? Ah, oh, yes. I am the priest, your ladiness. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. In my own pride, I went to battle without armor, thinking God would be my shield. And now I'm dying, and I will never see my sweet children again. Where are they, Father? Are they safe? They uh, are safe with that good man, Walter de Saint. Do not fear. Thank you. But, Father, please, will you carry a message from a dying woman to her beloved husband? I will, my dear. What should I tell Count Odo? That he is a good man. That he must live for our children's sake. For Paris. For Francia. He must not die for a mad king. I promise I will do this, good lady. Where may I find your husband? <coughs> remains locked in his sanctum. His sanctum? Up the landing and across the hall. My husband still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said. There is a key in the bureau. Take it. Help my husband a any way you can. Creeps upon me now, but slow and quiet, like a shadow at day's end. Eyelids so heavy. Mother, where are you? Farewell, lady. My lord. Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. Your duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris.
Leave Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the Northmen, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come, share a glass of wine with a doomed man. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mothers as their life's blood feeds the ground. I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Your wife's wound is severe, an arrow to the gut. I saw her. I fear she won't last the night. And I won't last the next quarter of an hour. She said to be strong for your children. Do not throw away your life for a mad king. In glass, delicate, priceless. Evro's artisans spend years crafting each piece. Wondrous works, I grant you that. We brought them here for safekeeping. In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? What would you do? I would fight. And someday, I will die with steel in my hand. As I know, it is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back? Bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. Come now! Please, Harry! Fine blade for a fine warrior. He fought well, Count Dodo, but not well enough. <clears throat> Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Shar and his army. He arrives in time to save the city. Fight! I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles would hold Polly. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor and trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall. Siegfried, I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. Silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen, and you bend the knee to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter. Let me take counsel. Eivor! Thank the gods you live! As do you. Good. 
I made it inside the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city, but... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. Aye. And you? After we split up, I took my thanes and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby, safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. So it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every war thane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By luck, he's bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy. I've he may stab us in the back. He can try. And if he tries, I will take his silver and his throne. Uncle, we came for wealth and peace for our clan. We can't take all of Francia. We're too few. Charles, we take your gift. And in return, we give you peace. Siegfried. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rouen. Gosler, Abel, and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now, you offer them the very silver we paid you to defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Let me ask instead. Are you a coward or a fool? Secret swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day, but I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. I cannot hand over the boy to one such as you. He is free to go where he wills. You dare defy me? Do you want battle, King? I will take your silver and your balls. Do not wreck our truce over one small boy. Bernard is not any boy. He is my only son and heir. What? Have you forgotten how to make another? This is not over. Eivor of England. Ah, we have won a great victory and a great treasure. Come, we feast. Tomorrow! The Franks will live, and they should, for Paris was merely kissed this time. Should we breach those walls again, we will bare our teeth and bite. And should Charles judge it wise to draw swords against us again, let him remember the glint of our axe blades. Let him remember the red mist on the air, the taste of iron. Enjoy the feast all! A purse full of silver to any who can drink more ale than I! 
Yeah. <laughs>